we are asked to solve and check the given linear equation in one variable. To solve the equation means to determine the value of the variable that satisfies the equation or makes the equation true. To do this, we must isolate the variable on one side of the equation. Notice how the given equation contains decimals. Looking at the two decimals, notice how we have at most two decimal places, which means we do have an optional step to multiply both sides of the equation by 100 to clear the decimals from the equation before solving. So in this video, we will be clearing the decimals from the equation before solving. We do have another video that solves the equation in its current form with decimals. So again, because we have at most two decimal places, we can clear the decimals from the equation by multiplying both sides by 100. We would have 100 times the left side of the equation and 100 times the right side of the equation. And now on the left side of the equation, we will distribute the 100 to the first product as well as the second product. This will give us 100 times 0 0.15 times the quantity x plus 10 minus 100 times 0 0.08 times the quantity x minus 50 equals on the right side 200. Going back to the left side, 100 times 0 0.15 is 15, giving us 15 times the quantity x plus 10 minus 100 times 0 0.08 is equal to 8, giving us 8 times the quantity x minus 50 equals 200. Notice now the equation no longer contains decimals. So now we go back to the left side of the equation and simplify by clearing the parentheses and combining like terms. So here we distribute 15, and here because of the subtraction, we will think of distributing negative eight. 15 times x is 15x, plus 15 times 10 is 150. Distributing negative eight, we have negative eight times x, which equals negative eight x, giving us minus eight x. And then negative eight times negative 50 is positive 400, giving us plus 400 equals 200. Now we combine the like terms on the left side of the equation. We have two x terms and we have two constants. 15 x minus eight x is seven x. We have seven x and then 150 plus 400 is 550 giving us plus 550 equals 200. The next step is to add or subtract to isolate the variable term of seven x. To undo the addition, we subtract 550 on both sides. Simplifying, 550 minus 550 is zero, giving us seven x equals 200 minus 550 is negative 350. The last step is to multiply or divide to solve the equation for x. Because seven x means seven times x, we divide both sides by seven. Simplifying on the left, seven divided by seven is one. One times x is x. We have x equals. On the right, negative 350 divided by seven is negative 50. The solution to the equation is x equals negative 50. But let's verify this by making sure it does satisfy the original equation. Substituting negative 50 for x in the original equation gives us 0 0.15 times the quantity negative 50 plus 10 minus 0 0.08 times the quantity negative 50 minus 50 equals two. Simplifying inside the parentheses on the left side, negative 50 plus 10 is negative 40. Negative 50 minus 50 is negative 100. And now multiplying on the left, 0 0.15 times negative 40 is negative six. We have negative six minus 0 0.08 times negative 100 is negative eight. Subtracting negative eight is equivalent to adding positive eight. The left side is equivalent to negative six plus eight. And negative six plus eight does equal two. Two equals two is true. Verifying the solution is correct. I hope you found this helpful.